This channel is about yachts for sale located in Turkey and sold internationally. We visit and inspect every yacht we list for sale. Join me today to a full walkthrough video on board Dali. Built by Tanju Yachts in 2009 and was fully refitted during 2017 and 18. She is a 20 meter steel hull trawler yacht, well equipped and ready to go anywhere. Designed to be a live on board vessel for a single handed person, a couple or a family. Dali has one large master cabin and one guest cabin plus small crew cabin for two. With 9,000 liters of fuel, the range can reach over 2,000 nautical miles. The recent refit included a complete change of the interior and many technical upgrades that included installing new zero-speed stabilizers from Matans, Holland, new aft platform, plus new hydraulic passerelle, which is also used as a water uh, stairs, new sewage treatment system, new lithium ion batteries and more. To learn more about Dali, see her photos and her full spec list, visit her webpage by clicking the card that appears now on your screen or use the link at the video description below. This video is very detailed and long. If you want to skip directly to a specific part of the boat, Use the chapter list provided in the video description below. So we are starting this video from the stern. It's a beautiful one open space from the aft deck, starting from the salon down here where I'm standing with three stairs and a beautiful water platform which allow beautiful access to the water and I'm going to show you now the uh, passerelle which is also a water platform moving to the other side there is a carbon deck shower here hot and cold water which when the boat is not cruising uh, can be stored normally stored at the day head which we are going to visit very soon massive cleats for mooring lines there is a capstan here electrical capstan a quick view forward the boat is in fantastic condition as you can see all along there is another storage area here down here through this hatch there is the the engine room which we are going to visit a bit later And we can see the Tanju logo, big windows of the salon, and add the cleat here for mooring. And you can see the condition here of the windows, connections, and the, the ceiling. There is one uh, camera here. The boat can be, can be handled uh, as a single-handed operation by experienced captain. Moving forward, quick look into the pilot house and the galley, which we will visit in a few minutes. And moving forward, to the foredeck. Again, two cleats to connect mooring lines and 
big wind lances from data with 16 millimeter of chain. And then again, you can see the amazing condition of the, the paint. It's a steel hull, very hard to find here. Any spot of rust. And one more look from forward backwards. Now we will move a little bit backwards and I'm going to show you the crew cabins, which are located here. So this hatch is opening and there are quite sharp stairs down under and two banks here, starboard and port side and then a nice uh, shower and bathroom. For more photos and, and more details of any part of the boat, you can visit our website by clicking the link at the video description below. So we are moving on the port side backwards. <clears throat> and here we can see the the large aft deck from a different angle. Beautiful space connecting the salon, aft deck and the water platform. And let's have a quick look upstairs to the flybridge. So few uh, sitting places and sun bathing back there. And the dinghy is now in the water. Launching the dinghy is done using this uh, crane. And once the dinghy is in the water, there is another open space here for sunbathing or any other activity. <clears throat> we can have a look at the, at the water platform from this angle so you can understand the size and the option. Nearly a full beam water platform with a shower, convenience stairs, Okay, looking forward, it's a massive flybridge for the size of the boat and it's a full beam, beautiful flybridge. So from here we will head down into the salon and to check the, <clears throat> the cabins. As I, manage, as I mentioned in the intro, the boat is an owner version. It means that she has one large convenient master cabin and one beautiful guest cabin. And no other space is somehow wasted for other cabins. Now before we enter the salon, I would like to show you the day head, which is a very nice option just behind this door. There is a good sized day head, toilet and sink. quick look at the ceiling. Another camera here. As I said, the camera has screen in the pilot house so the captain can uh, have more control. 
about the other parts of the boat. And here we are in this salon. There is a large seating area here on the port side. Another sitting place for four people for indoor dining. And the TV screen is here. Large windows with shades. Very clean design. Mostly painted white, so the, the experience of space is enhanced. And we are climbing three stairs and we are at the galley which is facing the pilot house and here is the galley. Okay, so let's quickly have a look what we have here. There is a dishwasher here, a sink, there is a a stove from Siemens, an oven from Siemens, place for coffee machine, and good size uh, working surfaces. Now on the other side, there is more uh, working surfaces, as well as combined fridge from Libero, which is actually combining four different zones. One is a normal fridge down here is a fridge for vegetables. Here on the left side is a wine fridge and underneath there is a freezer for frozen uh, food. All in new condition and shiny. The boat has been uh, totally refitted in 2007 and basically ripped off and the, the whole interior was rebuilt. So the age of what you see here is uh, about three years from 2018. So here is another uh, sitting place uh, facing forward, uh, which is a nice place to spend when the boat is cruising and we reach the instrument part of the pilot house. So let's have a quick look and let's understand what we see here. Now, there is a ship control panel which displays uh, the tank value, uh, voltage, uh, open hunches, doors and so on. Here is one of the engine controllers. We have two Scania engines here with about 1,200 hours, one here and one here for the port side. There is a Raymarine uh, big screen, a uh, touch screen, which is also new from 2018. Uh, two uh, multi, f sorry, one multi display of Raymarine and the uh, autopilot controller of course, the, the throttles for the Scania engines. Uh, this is the display of the Matanz stabilizers. It's a company from Holland, uh, which uh, considered to be very good for stabilizers. And these two are the controllers of the anchors, taking them up and down and with anchor chain. Some switches and here uh, we can see the display of the security control uh, camera uh, which shows uh, various places on the boat. Uh, down here we can see the bow thruster uh, switch and this is a electrical steering wi a winch and the VHF. And here we have a control for the, for the batteries from Master Vault for the house batteries. <clears throat> so let's have another quick look backwards.
and there are two doors from both sides that uh, are leading to the deck. All right, so let's go from here and let's go to see the cabins down at the lower deck and then we will finish by uh, visiting the engine room and the big lazarette. So this boat has 9,000 liters of fuel and when you go down you go a little bit deep because uh, you need to store this fuel somewhere so there is a draft and this is a very very mi minimalistic uh, corridor and we start by visiting this beautiful guest cabin and as you can see the design is modern everything is shiny basically it's new it's two three years old uh, the boat uh, since 2016 and after the refit has been used only by her owner normally with the not th too many people on board the owner is uh, driving uh, navigating the boat by himself uh, taking very good care of the boat and as we are speaking we reach the uh, ensuite of this guest cabin full-size toilet and nice modern um, sink and very good size uh, shower with option of uh, sitting in the shower everything is uh, spotless without any bad smells uh, clean nice finishes um, yeah and now we will go to see the master cabin and as a boat which is defined as an owner version there is a beautiful master cabin here so first we will have a quick look and then again the same modern design uh, combining warm wood floor with white uh, walls which gives this modern and fresh look and if we go into details there is a good uh, there is a very good space here uh, for storage of uh, personal belongings there is a safe here um, hanging drawer and then along both side port side and uh, starboard there are additional storage space that can allow a private owner to live here comfortably and with plenty of space for uh, his hair or a couple personal belongings great light uh, two round very big windows in both sides that are shaded these windows can be open uh, while the weather is calm and you're in anchor or marina and allow fresh air to come inside and here we are in the ensuite so again full size uh, toilet very convenient uh, wide sink and beautiful large shower with thick flooring and option to to sit inside a bit of a place for uh, uh, soaps and uh, and so on back there and also uh, there is a nice place to store things here in the side and also underneath so it's it's really a, a beautiful owner's cabin which allow uh, all year round uh, living on board 
uh, side uh, of the 9,000 liters of fuel which are avail available on board water maker there is an water maker which produces water about 180 liters per hour um, the boat uh, has a water tank of 4,000 liters now here in the corridor there is another storage space for vacuum cleaner um, cleaning materials it's quite deep so it's a very it's a very efficient storage place you will find storage places all around this boat we will visit now the angel room and the lazarette so you can understand more now here's the here's this beautiful salon and it's perfect to have uh, to live on board uh, as a single person, couple, or a small family. It's the perfect boat, not too big, not too large, and uh, not too small. And yet, uh, this boat has everything that uh, larger boats can offer. Now, here is the aft deck again from a different angle. And we will head down to the engine room. I will meet you in a second downstairs. So here we are in the engine room. One of the generators is working. Let's go inside and then we go slowly outside and I will explain about the different parts of this engine room. So we have here two uh, Scania engines. Uh, each with 450 horsepower. Uh, the running uh, engine hours at the moment is about 1,200 hours. And each one of the, these engines has a PTU, PTU connected to it, one here and one here, which are operating the, uh, the bow thruster, and, um, um, and the capstans. Here there is another uh, PTO which is operating the matans or backuping the matans uh, stabilizers which has been installed uh, in 2017 during the refit that I mentioned several times. And here you can see the vast area and space that this engine room has to offer, which makes life very convenient to operate and to maintain. Now, we have two generators here from Northern Lights. One large, which is a no, uh, 20 kilowatts, and one smaller one, which is a 10 kilowatts. There is a, there is an air conditioning system, which is this system, a boiler for hot water supply and we have here chargers uh, for the uh, uh, for the batteries and here we have a water maker from Delphin which produces about 180 liters per hour Here at the port side, uh, there is a big hydraulic unit uh, which provides power to the Matans stabilizers. And then again, another view of this uh, engine room. Well, uh, my general uh, uh, view about this engine room that it's well maintained. The only thing that it might need is a little bit uh, paint to the engines. Uh, I mean, that's a cosmetic thing. I don't see here any leakings. Looking under the under the main engines in the bilge, there is no leaking, no liquids. Everything is clean and painted. Uh, the steel hull looks perfect from inside. You don't see any any rust. Um, 
it's it's a good boat and and from here you can see uh, also how uh, massively this boat has been constructed so that's the engine room from here we will jump to the other side uh, to enter the lazaret the big lazaret which is some of the technical uh, machinery is located there so that's the opposite hatch uh, on the port side when i say opposite i mean that the entrance to the engine room is exactly at the same uh, location but on the other side and we will go down into this lazaret <coughs> So, <clears throat> let's have a quick look first and then we go on the details. So it's fairly large full beam lazarette. Now this thing here, this space, is actually accommodate the, uh, the passerelle, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. Here we can see the pistons of the, the rudder, the rudders, the, the steering system. Uh, everything is uh, accessible and easy to handle and to maintain, which is very important. Uh, you don't need to crawl anywhere or to, uh, in order to access this uh, essential technical part of the boat. <coughs> This hydraulic system is providing power to the to the steering, and with the, its her, uh, electrical panel, there is a, a air compressor here for service, and there is a sewage a sewage system here from Technicomar, which also has been added in 2017 during the refit. Um, and very important for international regulations. Now, underneath here, we have <coughs> we have three uh, batteries, um, uh, lithium-ion batteries, 24 volt each with 180 amper hour. It's a great uh, upgrade for this boat. It also has its own uh, management, charging management system. Here there is a washing machine and dryer. And this small tank here is used uh, to provide uh, drinking water to the boat. It means that uh, the water that uh, is provided from here has been uh, extra filtered in order to and able to use them as a water, as a drinking water. This small unit here is uh, providing hydraulic power to operate uh, the passerelle and uh, the swimming ladder, as we saw before. Here we have emergency emergency steering, which is a manu manual hydraulic pump uh, that can be used in emergency situation where the electrical pump stop to function for some reason and here of course there is a uh, extinguishing uh, material co2 for the automatic extinguishing system for the engine engine room so that's that's the lazarette and we are heading up again and ending this video at this point uh, another another uh, storage place as i said there are plenty of them on board this boat so here we are